thank you for purchasing your MegaWare Keel Guard. You are now part of a family of thousands of boat and personal watercraft owners who have discovered the pleasure of worry-free boating. With proper installation, you too will enjoy years of carefree boating. The Keel Guard is a very simple product to install. However, the following instructions must be strictly followed. Any shortcuts or missed steps will jeopardize and compromise the full bonding capabilities of the 3M adhesive. Please pay particular attention to the notes on new boats, aluminum boats, trailer rollers, anti-fouling, and boat bottom paint. Typically, the keel guard is mounted 4 to 6 inches above the waterline on the bow, ending at least 2 to 3 feet beyond the lowest point of the keel. If protection is required above the bow eye, a separate bow guard is available in 1 to 3 foot lengths. A stainless steel bow protector is also available to protect against marring from the trailer roller or V-brace. Installation consists of four basic steps. One, etching. Two, cleaning. Three, priming. And four, applying or burnishing. Average installation time is 45 to 60 minutes depending on the length of the keel guard. Follow the same instructions for both aluminum and fiberglass boats. Your keel guard kit comes complete with everything you need to professionally install the keel guard except a cleaning agent used in step two. EPA regulations make the shipping of this material cost prohibitive. However, the cleaning agent is readily available at most automotive, paint, or hardware stores. Step one, etching or scuffing. Before application of the keel guard, the fiberglass mold release agents and wax must be removed. This step is extremely important and must be done thoroughly so that the full bonding qualities of the 3M adhesive can be realized. The removal of the release agent or any other contamination is best accomplished by using the 3M Scotch-Brite pad provided in each kit. Etch or scuff the keel surface, taking off the gloss where the guard is to be installed. This helps give 3M's adhesive a better mechanical bond. The supplied pad is a mild 320 grit and will not damage the keel's gel coat or paint. If you have access to a DA sander, this can be used instead of the Scotch-Brite pad. We recommend not using anything stronger than a 180-grit sandpaper. Important! Remember, the bond is only as good as the surface to which it is applied. Severe damage to your boat's keel, repairs that have not been done professionally, or any surface paint or gel coat that may not have that proper bond to the boat's original finish can cause delamination of the keel guard, taking any loose or improperly prepared paint with it. It's absolutely imperative to have a good, solid, smooth surface before you start. Step 2. Cleaning. After etching the hull, follow up by thoroughly cleaning the area with alcohol, acetone, toluene, or xylene. The keel should be wiped thoroughly with clean rags or paper towels and then re-wiped with another clean rag or paper towel using one of the previously recommended agents. Other solvents such as acrylac cleaner, liquid sandpaper and Interlux 202 or other wash solvents containing xylene or toluene with alcohol may be used. Do not use paint thinner or other petroleum based cleaners as they will leave a film and compromise the bond to the adhesive. Always remember to wear rubber gloves and read the manufacturer's safety precautions when using these solvents. Step 3. Priming. After thoroughly cleaning the keel area as outlined in Step 2, it's time to apply a very thin coat of the 3M No. 94 Keel Primer provided in the kit. Follow the instructions attached to the applicator. Make certain that the entire area where the keel guard will be applied is primed especially the edges. The primer interacts with the adhesive to create a bond that will become stronger over time. Don't confuse the primer for a cleaning agent. Step 4. Applying or burnishing the keel guard. Before applying the keel guard, it should be unrolled and set in the sun for approximately 10 minutes. This helps the keel guard become softer and more pliable, making installation easier. Usually, laying the keel guard over the bow of the boat is enough to soften the material. If the keel guard is going to be applied during cooler weather, we recommend taking the keel guard indoors and unroll it until it lays flat and becomes pliable. The keel guard should not be applied when temperatures drop below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The adhesive has a protective red plastic liner that has been scored approximately one inch wide down the center. This is done to aid in centering the keel guard. 
carefully pulled back the center liner or sheath two to three feet, exposing the 3M adhesive tape. Start removing the sides of the protective liner, being careful not to touch the adhesive to anything that could contaminate it, including your fingers. Align the keel guard with the center of the keel and press on by hand or with the burnishing tool. Be extra careful not to touch the adhesive and keel guard to the keel until you're satisfied that it's centered and aligned properly. Once the adhesive touches the primed surface, it becomes a permanent bond and will not let go without tearing the adhesive tape. Pull back the protective strips on one side at a time, two to three feet, and begin pressing on with the tool. Work from the center outward to ensure no air is trapped between the hull and adhesive. Do one side up to three feet, and then the other. If you're applying the keel guard over chines or lifting strakes, leave about three to five inches above the strake unattached on each side. Press and bond under the strake first, and then continue above and press on the remaining three to five inches, meeting up with the already attached material. This will help relieve any stretching of material when going over irregular or protruding surfaces. Continue working toward the rear in two to three foot sections until completed. After the keel guard is completely attached, go over it again with the burnishing tool, applying strong force and pressure, making certain that all edges are pressed down firmly. Note, if your trailer is designed such that the entire weight of the boat rests on the rollers or a support beam along the keel, we don't recommend installing the keel protection. If the rollers can be lowered or the side bunks raised to clear the rollers, the keel guard adhesive bond will not be compromised. Keel guard may not be suitable for some aluminum boats with raised reinforced rib design. Please contact Megaware for specifics. For personal watercraft, begin the keel guard approximately a quarter inch below the bow hook and run the length of the keel, ending four to six inches forward of the pump intake. Installing the keel guard too close to the pump intake may cause cavitation on some personal watercrafts. Also, some newer design personal watercrafts have stepped hulls that may require shorter lengths. Please contact MegaWare Keel Guard to determine feasibility. You're now finished and ready to enjoy worry-free boating. No curing time is required. The boat or personal watercraft can be put right in the water. If you have any questions, please call us toll-free at 1-800-292-9835.